Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? We are ready for the event. Post Malone, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call Station for a voice check. Station. Station, this is Posty. Can you hear me? How do you hear me? And we have you loud and clear, Posty. Amazing, guys. Um, uh, my name's Austin. I wanted to say um, thank you guys so very much um, for talking to me. I know you guys are busy and uh, got a lot going on, man. It's an honor for me, and um, it's such a cool thing uh, to be able to talk to you guys. And Austin, it's great to talk to you as well. I'm Steve Bowen. I am a crew member of Expedition 69. And I'm Woody Hoberg, flight engineer on Expedition 69, and it's a real honor to talk to you as well. This is a real treat. That's super, super, super cool, man. And and um, I'd imagine you guys up there um, have the most baller view uh, in the universe. Um, what kind of weather can you guys see uh, on Earth? That's actually my favorite thing to do when looking out the window. Um, I spent a lot of time at sea. We got a lot of ocean to look at, so I look at the cloud patterns and. Uh, one of the most amazing things you get to watch, and I don't know if Woody has seen this yet, uh, I was doing some a workout and I started no noticing flashes, but lightning storms, thunderstorms at night are absolutely incredible. And the size of them can be absolutely amazing. They can stretch over just large portions of any landmass, and it, it's just amazing to watch the weather that way. Have you seen anything, Woody? Yeah, I, exactly the same. The, the lightning storms from up here are just incredible. You realize the frequency of lightning strikes over a large area. There's lightning striking somewhere on Earth pretty much all the time. Thank you, man. Thank you. And Woody, this is your first time, uh, this is your first time up, man. Uh, what are your first impressions? Before I came up, people told me uh, two things I would notice when I look out the window. One, that there are no borders on any, looking all around the world, you don't see borders. And number two, just how thin the atmosphere is. And both of those things are strikingly, strikingly true from up here. And then a third one that I've noticed myself is just how much I love Earth. I look down and see all these places that I've visited before that are special to me or places that in the future I would love to go see just because of the amazing perspective from up here. And so we have a super special planet and getting to see it every day from this perspective really drives that home. Any uh, reflections on, you know, on our blue, big blue planet and, and Earth Day? Um, anything you guys want to say? Uh, we really captured it earlier. You know, it's an amazing planet. It's uh, my favorite planet. It's incredible to look at. And every time, you know, you have the opportunity to look or see with this perspective, you realize what an incredible civilization as a whole that allows us to be able to do this. You know, I grew up carrying buckets of cement uh, with my dad for work, and uh, this is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, I completely agree. Earth is such a special place. And it's kind of, it reminds me of maybe a camping trip where you go, you go to this, these amazing vistas, you see these amazing, beautiful scenes, but at the end, you want to come home. And being up here, the vantage point is just incredible. You know, every day looking out and seeing that incredible horizon um, and our, our big blue marble. It's such a special place and I'm so privileged and honored to get to be up here and have this experience. And then I also know that at the end of my six months, I'm gonna be very excited to, to come home to Earth. Say thank you guys so very much, man. Yeah, thank you, Posty. You did an awesome job. Uh, you were a great interviewer, really great. And uh, all the best to you and all your fans. Happy Earth Day. Thank you, guys. I look forward to following up with you guys and, and keeping track of your journey, man. Love y'all.